I know I got a problem, but uh, you know, what do you do? Uh, I guess the word is moved. I was so moved by the performance of the G Series 8 foot 3 weight that uh, this morning I actually went here again. And I, uh, with the blue charm, of course, and I uh, purchased an 8 foot 3 weight Gray's GRXI, uh, which of course is the model up from the uh, the model up from the G series rod. Uh, I don't know. It's just something about the eight foot three weight, the length and the weight uh, that uh, is just so much fun. And I know for a fact because I already own the GRXI in the seven and a half foot three weight. I know this rod blank already. It's just so much fun. It flexes. The whole rod basically flexes when you hook a fish, and uh, you know it, it really feels wonderful when you hook a fish with this rod. And like I said, I really like the, the length of the rod and the weight, so uh, I knew I'd eventually get this rod. I just decided to get it right away. Uh, you know, the budget wasn't there for a reel and line, but uh, I already have two reels and two lines in that weight, so uh, there's no urgency, uh, you know, in that regard. So uh, I'm here at the river here now. Uh, I, again, travel up the Noseworthy. Uh, the water's really high. We had a, a rain last night. Well, not really high, but it's uh, murky. And uh, we had a bit of rain, so uh, I guess I'll get started and see how it all works out. Basically, it's uh, olive tying thread with the thorax of ice dove and some uh, brightly bright colored blue hackle. Uh, you might see the tip of the chronomid there in his mouth. Again, another really fresh food. Uh, this leg tackle makes it so much fun. He's super fresh. Uh, and there he is. Uh, you can see the chronomid in his mouth there. It's, uh, it's definitely a pound. I'll get him back here now. Uh, I cannot believe this. It's uh, murky water. Uh, the water's moderately high, but uh, they're still able to pick off these little chronomid patterns. Uh, this particular pattern is on a number 12 hook. Uh, it's a red chronomid. And uh, again, this guy just slammed it. And just before I hooked him, I missed another one. Uh, you can see there he struck the chronomid. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Listen to this reel, man. <laughs> wow. They're so slippery. There he is, struck a uh, little red chronomid this time with a silver rib. Wow, Dave's here with an absolutely big fish, five pounds, every bit. Hold him up, Dave, I'll get to another look, man. Oh my God, what a beauty, man. Oh, 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 that is stunning. Anything to say, man? No. Come on, say something. Oh what am I supposed to say? Like, that was the thrill of a lifetime for this river, maybe? Yeah, that's my last day. Oh my away. god, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like, it's his last day and he's moving away. And he hooks this five pound giant, man. Uh, yeah, that's it for today, and uh, thanks for watching.
nine and a half, ten inches. Got them on that little uh, North Country spider with the blue hackle. Got a bit of fight to him, as you can see by the rod tip there. Uh, yeah, he's pulling hard. It actually uh, broke for the fly once, and uh, I missed. And then I flicked it right back, and uh, he grabbed it again. Wow, look at him go, man. Yeah, he's got some fight. He's probably fresh. I, uh, Wow! <laughs> he's got some fantastic fights. I never got a jump out of him. Oh yeah, he's nice. Uh, I never got him to jump at all, but uh, still got some fight. Wow, he just does not want to give up. He's amazing. <laughs> He's gone again. This is crazy. <laughs> He's not that big, but uh, he sure is acting like he is. He's actually uh, made my day here. Just, just for being what he is with the fighting game. Oh, he's fairly nice. Uh, He's definitely 13 inches. Uh, Andrew just hooked one here now on a jambo. on what he calls a jambo. Uh, not real certain what that means, but <laughs> wow, what a nice fish, Andrew! Fresh, isn't he? Wow, he's about 13 inches, hey? Yeah, he's fresh in here. Every bit, man. Wow, look at this fish, man. Look at that fly. Wow, man, that's incredible. Fly, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Here he is. What a great fish. Look at that. Nice job, Andrew. Nice fish. I'll let him go here now. I don't do traveling that way. Oh, okay. Jesus, come off some easy. Oh, yeah. Wow, there he goes. Tiny travels. Yeah. Nice, man. Wow. On the upper portion of the river again, and uh, uh, the water is as high as yesterday, but it's uh, certainly not as murky. It's uh, moved more towards uh, stain. Uh, I guess you know the water's been this level for a while, and the system's uh, pretty much flushed itself of uh, you know all the debris and such that was uh, making the water murky yesterday. Uh, you know it is stained, and uh, wow. On that blue fly, I must have caught uh, probably 25 fish already. And now that I'm entering these deep pocketed pools, uh, like this one here, uh, I'm stri starting to strike the bigger fish. Absolutely gorgeous trout. Uh, I pulled it out of the pocket here. Uh, he's definitely 13 inches. I don't know if I'll land him. I'm, I'm having a hard time controlling him and the video camera, of course. Uh, you can see him there, he's absolutely beautiful. 
I'm going to beach him there just so we can have a look. Uh, I pulled them out of an absolutely minuscule pocket in the river. I cannot believe this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, every bit, uh, every bit 13 and a half, 14 inches. Uh, again, he struck that blue fly. Oh, uh, absolutely. Here he goes. <laughs> wow. What a superb fish. He's definitely uh, 13, 14 inches. <laughs> An absolutely beautiful specimen. Look at this guy. Uh, yeah, he's every bit 13 inches. And uh, Again, he struck that blue fly. Here he goes. The last time I fished this particular hole was back in 1991 with a, with a hook and worm, uh, before I even got into fly fishing and I uh, hooked a 23 inch brown in this hole and I see a couple of real nice ones sitting there now probably uh, 13 inches and above but uh, I'm going to flick now and we're going to have a look and uh, see what happens I don't know that I spooked them or not uh, they're in a kind of shallow calm area but the two sections of the stream uh, kind of collide and form one again so uh, I'll just have a flick now and we'll see what happens Well, I did manage to hook one of those nice ones. Uh, probably 13 inches or so. Uh, really nice fish. <laughs> I actually didn't see him. He was tucked up a little further in the run than I thought. He, he turned on the fly and chased it down. But, uh, yeah, what a marvelous looking fish. Uh, I'll see if I can't get him up here. left from behind that little puff of grass there and uh, chase the fly down this tiny little channel. Uh, we're definitely uh, entering into spring here in Newfoundland now. Uh, flowers starting to sprout and uh, the river itself, is, uh, the banks are starting to take on that familiar green hue. nine inches or so. Yeah, give them nine. Get them back, you know. Poor soul's been hooked before. Uh, someone tore the lip off him. But, uh, Anyway, there he is. He's definitely uh, 12 inches. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, nice fish. We get him back here now. That completes another day for me. Uh, the action was uh, really slow down here. Uh, I didn't really have anything we wanted here today, but uh, wow, I had a grand time up above. Uh, three or four decent fish I did land. I probably had another five or six decent rises. And you know, I just happened to miss on the hook set. But overall, it was a fabulous day. Uh, I started really early this morning, and it's uh, just about six o'clock here now in the evening. And uh, yep, that's pretty much going to be it for today. Okay, thanks for watching.
Last night, uh, I tied a couple of San Juan worms. <laughs> I know I'm a little far away from the San Juan River or whatnot, but uh, I think there's a red worm that, uh, it's an ocean worm. I think the sea trout may feed on it a little. Anyway, this is the second one I hooked on it. I forgot to push record on the first one. Uh, so this is two very fresh trout in a row and uh, quite fat, both roughly uh, 12 inches. Uh, this guy's super fresh. Uh, he's a little bit fatter and nicer than the first one. I'll bring him up here now for a look. Uh, <laughs> you can see how fat he is. He's probably uh, 12 and a half inches here. Uh, you can see the San Juan worm in his mouth there. Uh, I tied the red one and uh, yeah, he slammed it. There he is. I'll get him back here now. Beautiful trout. Okay, I got another one here now, a uh, uh, real tiny chronomid, and uh, he struck really hard, came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, he looks really fresh. Uh, I took the hook and I put a slight bend to the side. Uh, initially when I started casting with the fly, you know, the, the bend of the hook was straight on and I was missing all the fish, but since I took the barb and just switched it to the side of it, uh, my hookups are a bit better. This guy's nice, probably 11 inches. Really fat. Ooh, super strong, man. Wow. Here he is. Uh, decent little fish. You can see the chronomid pattern there. Uh, he's probably 11, 11 and a half inches. I'll get him back here now. Go. Okay, uh, another one now on the midge. Uh, this one's got some serious bite. I believe he thinks he's a box. <laughs> Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, wow, man, he's got some fantastic fight. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy's just like really fresh. Yeah, he's not bad. Probably got uh, 12 inches. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, listen to the sky, man. I believe he thinks he's 20 inches. He just won't quit. Wow. Fresh. Wow, super fresh. Oh wow, what a fat fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Look how fat this guy is, man. Wow, <laughs> look at this guy. Absolutely fresh. No doubt about it, he just got in. Uh, he's probably 13 inches. Uh, really nice fish. You can see the chronomid in his mouth there in the side. I get him back here now. Oh yeah, he's really fresh. 
There he goes. All right, another one now. Well, uh, that's another day here now. Uh, it's 25 after 8, and uh, <laughs> I've had a long day. I've been uh, fishing since about 9, 9.30 this morning, so uh, uh, that's a good 11 hours. And uh, I had a lot of really good late action here this evening, so uh, I'm really content with the day. It was slow up above, but that's okay. I got down below here and uh, uh, more than made up for it. It was a fabulous evening and uh, beautiful day, uh, probably 12, 13 degrees earlier today. Okay, that's it, and uh, thanks for watching. There he is. It's probably uh, 11 and a half inches. Uh I did, in the past, I've risen some really big browns on this fly. Uh, anyway, there he is. I'll get him back here now. Uh, I was just getting ready to pull back for another cast uh, when this guy hit the bug. Uh, caught a few on this bug, you know. Uh, beautiful fish. Uh, there he is. He's probably uh, yeah, he's probably close on 10 inches. Uh, <laughs> I just caught him by a snip of the flesh. He hasn't been hooked by much at all. Just uh, <laughs> a little touch. I can't believe the bug never ripped through. An absolute bull just rose from my fly here. Uh, uh, this guy's probably 14 inches or more. Well, he's 13 anyway, without a doubt. And uh, there he is. Uh, <laughs> he's, I don't know if you'll see it, but uh, he's inhaled the bug. Uh, it's barbless, so it won't be hard to remove. Anyway, there he is, an absolute beautiful trout. Uh, again, like I say, probably 13 inches or so. Really nice, I'll get him back there now. There it is. A uh, little orange bug with the white hackle. Here he is. Uh, again, orange bug, white hackle. Uh, nice little fish. Uh, I'll put him back here now. What a fighter, wow. Just incredible, beautiful trout here.
super fight out of this guy. Unreal. What a beautiful fish. Oh, the clouds have just popped out as I got him up. But uh, <laughs> there he is. Uh, really nice trout. Uh, like I say, he's definitely... Oh, he's definitely 14 inches, 14 and a half inches. I uh, hooked him on a little tiny blue and red fly with uh, a black thorax. I'll just give you a look at the fly here. It's a uh, red body, black thorax, thorax sorry, uh, blue hackle, and a red thread head, the silver rib. Uh, I hooked a number of fish uh, on the way. Seems somewhat fresh as well. So I put on this uh, olive chronomid, and uh, uh, I got one little rise on it. And I was just about to change it, and uh, pretty much give up on it. But as you can tell, I hooked it to a nice one here. Uh, I just let it sit there on like a dead drip. And, uh, this guy picked it up. Uh, he seems really fresh. Uh, he's got a lot of super fight here. Uh, like I said, I was just getting ready to pull back on the gas and uh, change the fly. And, uh, <laughs> this guy slammed him, man. Wow, and uh, like I've seen a lot of shine when he struck it, so. I'm, I'm thinking he's probably got some size to him. And he's probably half fresh, right? Uh, as you can tell. Wow. He is nice. Oh man, he is nice. Uh, I hope I land him just so you can have a look. Uh, he's definitely a pound plus. No doubt. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'm, every time I hook a big fish on something like a chronomic, uh I'm utterly shocked as to why a fish this size would uh, you know, come up for something so small. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, he's super fresh. Oh, this is insane. Okay, first I'll show you the chronomid. But, uh, okay, here he is. He's, uh, 15 inches, 16 inches, but look at his underside. Uh, wow, he's been attacked by something, and uh, he's managed to survive. I don't know how, all his, in, all his innards are stuck out here. Uh, probably a seal or an otter. Anyway, I'll get this poor soul back. Uh, I don't know that he'll survive anyway. I, I mean, I can't see this guy surviving. There's no way for that wound to heal, uh, but I'll get him back. Wow, what a fighter. Uh, it's 6 o'clock. I've been pretty much on the go since 6 o'clock this morning. And uh, I stay till dark and fish, but they're doing some construction up the way. They're uh, fitting one of the river outlets with a new pipe, and it's uh, made the water all murky and muddy, and uh, it's not much sense in staying. Uh, I had a really good day. Uh, <laughs> the biggest shock, I guess, was that fish with the belly uh, eaten out of it. Uh, you know, most predators who eat these fish go for the innards first because, uh, you know, that's the most nutrition. And uh, <laughs> I guess he just slipped, you know, slipped away before they could uh, finish eating him. And uh, he was quite the shock. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of stunned that he's kicking. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's it. And uh, uh, thanks for watching.